All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another lesson. And I have a few scriptures to go into or really just a couple dealing with this uh, spirit that I will really not our people. You know, I can't say uh, our people. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the mindset of two thirds of our people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, because they don't want to be Israelites. They want to be Negroes, niggas, uh, uh, black. They want to be Hispanics and Native American Indians and all these other different bywords. They, you know, they don't accept the fact that they are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Okay. Their mindset is. As far as when they when they think they're going to church, but they're really going to a haunted house because they're not worshiping the most high. They're going and worshiping some other God. They don't so they don't even realize it, you know. They're committing spiritual adultery on the most high. Okay. And they have this mindset because, you know, this is a traditional. This has been put in their minds through tradition. Oh, that you can come and serve the Lord as you are. And what gave me the idea to do this lesson is those um, females. I'll just say it like that. That came up to the brother the elder in uh, South Carolina and said, uh, well, yeah, Manata Zakba and said, uh, come as you are, come as you are. And the elder told him that's not in the scriptures, you know? So that's what I'm going to go into that come as you are spirit. And I remember, I remember back when I was, you know, going to the Harlot house, which I believe I was going to, you know, do the right thing. You know, and try to, you know, just try to do the right thing. I'll just leave it at that. But I remember people that went to the Harlan house with me saying that type of shit. Oh, it's all right, man. Hey, uh, we, we, we can come as we are. Or you heard this, uh, hey, come to, you should come to my church. Because all oh, the pastor, he don't care how you dress. You can come dressed any kind of way. You can just all oh, the pastor, he real cool. What what is that insinuating? Come as you are. Just come, be who you are, and and you can serve the Lord that way. And that's just not true. That come as you are spirit is bullshit, and it's not in the scriptures. And I have a couple of scriptures to go into to show that that's absolutely bullshit. Okay. And if you don't like, you know, the so-called uh, cuss, well, cuss words. Because there's a difference between a curse word and a cuss word. You can look it up. Cuss, C-U-S-S, -S, curse, C-U-R-S-E. It's a difference in the definition then you don't have to listen. That's, that's fine. Okay? What matters is the truth. First scripture I want to go into is Romans, the 12th chapter. And the, uh, the first and the second verse. And it says, I beseech you, therefore, this is Paul speaking to the Israelites that believed in Rome. All right? I beseech you, therefore, Brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, or Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Look, present your bodies. Okay? You're coming to the Lord, which really, you know, um, you have to be chose to really truly serve the Lord. Nobody on their own to say, you know, I'm ready. I'm going to go serve the Lord. In truth and in spirit, it don't work that way. Because when you come serve the Lord, you must come in truth and in spirit. 
according to St. John, the, the fourth chapter, I believe around the 22nd or 23rd verse, some somewhere around there. Okay. And that's another thing, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, they believe that they, they can just go and ex they can accept the Lord. They can just, whenever they get ready and they, you know, they can just go and serve the Lord and it don't work that way. Okay. When you come truly serve the Lord, you have uh, been chosen. All right. To do that. So it says we're supposed, we're supposed to present our bodies, okay, a living sacrifice, holy. So when we when we presenting ourselves to the Most High, matter of, nah, I'm not on the blue letter. I was gonna go into that word present, but when we present ourselves to the Most High, we're supposed to present ourselves holy to the Most High. What does that mean? That means when you make the, uh, or you have the uh, the thought that goes through you. Now, it's really not a thought, but the conviction that runs through your mind, meaning you're convinced that, you know, what you're, you've, you've heard is the truth. And, you know, I'm going to say this before I continue. You know, our people just go to the, to the Harlot House really because it's traditional they don't go there in hopes to you know for the lord to clean up their life you know that's really not how you're supposed to come the scriptures say according to romans 10 and i believe 17 that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high so you're supposed to hear the word and then be convicted or convinced that this is the truth and you believe in it believe in the words that you heard okay and at that point when you believe you're coming to serve the lord now because belief is a uh, takes action you can't say you believe by word and then have no action to follow okay So back to what I was saying, you know, I, I interrupted myself. When you come to serve the Lord, you got to present your body holy. Right? And what does holy mean? Holy means separate. How do you separate yourself from the world, from the other nations? It's by rehearsing the righteous acts, rehearsing the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures. Okay? Doing what the scriptures say to do. All right. And you and that. um, When you hear the, you know, for the ones that truly believe when you hear the word and that um, feeling runs through your mind that I believe this, then you understand that I got to stop living the way that I'm living and I have to change. I have to become holy. I mean, I have to separate myself from the world and live according to these scriptures let me finish this verse it says acceptable unto the most high because the most high just don't accept us coming to him any kind of way you see that we have to come in an, in, an, in an acceptable manner okay acceptable unto you how about shim shy which is your reasonable service check that out now let's go to another scripture. This is in uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter. And we start at the first verse. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, if thou come to serve the Lord, okay, do you just come as you are? Come as you are. Do you come as you are? My son, if thou come to serve the Lord. Prepare thy soul for temptation. So guess what? When you don't come as you are, you come uh, um, to serve the Lord. You prepare yourself, okay, to fight temptation. 
Why does it say that? Because you've already made the decision in your mind that you believe. And that I can't continue to live the way I'm living. I can't come as I am and say I believe in you, Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Okay? You you know that I gotta change. You know that you have to change. And you know that changing from, you know, your wicked ways, we all had to go through this. The ones of us that truly believe and, and serve the Lord. We know we was going to have, we understood, okay, I believe, okay, I'm going to have to make a change. And with that comes, we know we're going to have to fight temptations. The temptation of the world. The temptation of all the shit that we've been indoctrinated with since we've been born. You know? It says, let me continue reading. It says, set thy heart aright. It says, set your heart, meaning your mind, aright. You don't come with the same mind to serve the Lord. Oh, I'm just going to come as I come as I come as you are type of spirit to the most high. And you just come and um, have the same mind. Because we would have kept read, uh, reading Romans, the 12th chapter. It, the second verse talk about renewing of the mind. That's what coming to serve the Lord is, is to do what? To be baptized, to be born again. Oh, and that's a thing of the mind. You have to get the old, get rid of all the garbage that we was indoctrinated with and relearn everything. Okay, born again. We got to start over as newborn babies. All right. Do a new, so if you're an adult that been in, indoctrinated with all this information, do you just come as you are? Or do you or do the scriptures say be born again? And these Bullshit ass fucking so called Christians want to talk about I'm a born again Christian. And the same one that'll say that, I say, oh, I can come as I am to the Lord. That's bullshit. And you come as you are and you're going to be destroyed. So when you set your mind aright, that means you get your mind in line with the scriptures. You don't come as you are. You don't come with the same mind that you have in the that we all had in the in the world or have in the, in the world in this society that's you know based upon wickedness. We got to change our mind and 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 get our mind in sync with the scriptures. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So that's the video. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.